Do you have anything lined up after 17th March? <laughs> Today, as I'm recording, it's 9th. So, how many days? Almost less than 10 days. Do you have any event, any celebration, any new thing coming up after 17th March? Or between 17th March to 23rd April, is there any... Do you have any prominent work during that time? And have you made some calculations? Oh, yeah, maybe it will take me five days, ten days. It may take me two months, three months. Or it may take me a day or two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in that case, I'm here with some news. <laughs> so on 17th March to 23rd April, there is this conjunction of Mars and Saturn. Mars and Saturn. Now, this conjunction in general is not considered to be a great conjunction. But you need to understand what this conjunction does. Okay, Without which you, you, you may try to overly generalize it like say, by saying things like, you know, oh, it's a bad conjunction. Bad times are ahead. Well, you need to understand what does what energies does a conjunction bring in because of which we feel it's good or bad, easy or difficult. You need to understand that because then you can navigate through it. Okay, So therefore, if you have this conjunction in your board chart, then in your original Kundli, then this time will be more prominent for you. Or if you are running either Mars or Saturn Dasha, then it will be also more prominent for you because then it means uh, the planetary alignments originally in your chart are already aligning with either Mars or Saturn or both. And if you are also running Sade Sati, then also this could be a bit uh, more challenging for you. <clears throat> okay, but nonetheless, let's discuss what this conjunction does. So if you want to understand any conjunction, you need to start with the Kal Purush Kundli. Right, so in the Kalpurush Kundli, we have uh, the first ascendant, which is Aries. So, if you take Aries ascendant, which houses does Mars and Saturn rule? So, Mars rules the first house, the eighth house, then Saturn rules the tenth and the eleventh. Right, so now this is actually, if you see by alignments of the houses, this should ideally be a fantastic combination because this is. A combination of the lords of the first, tenth, eleventh. That means there is a possibility that you might have humongous gains during this period. But the problem is the eighth house is involved. So eighth house means obstruction. Okay. So it's like saying the sixth house is the house of delays. So for example, if you have a vehicle and you are going. And then you see, oh, there is some problem in the street. You have to take, uh, you, you, you have to wait. The, the, the street is jammed. There's traffic jam and all this, okay? Or you could say a, a typical traffic jam is the sixth house. But if you go and you see that there is dead end, <laughs> then that's like the eighth house, okay? And can anybody write down in the comments what will be the 12th house? Because the 12th house is the worst of the Dustan houses. So what do you think? Traffic jam, uh, no entry, and what could be worse? Think about <laughs> So now it's like saying you wanted to go somewhere and you see it's blocked. It's deadlocked. Okay, well, what is it? What, what does it mean? But how does this combination give success? Well, this combination will give you success provided you make your own road. <laughs> yes, indeed. Which means if you have some plan coming up, okay, so you have your wedding planned because the Vaishak month is coming, <clears throat> Bohag, as we say in Assamese. So then there are a lot of weddings during that time. Or you have your Griha Pravesh, you have taken a new home or you, you, you have a car or anything it could be. Or you are pregnant um, or you already have children, your parents are coming to see you, you are going to see your parents, n number of scenarios. So it's like saying 
you start to do that and then there is this dead end, okay? <laughs> Which means you might have to take a detour or you have to create your own path, okay? Now, creating your own path is not always easy and it's not always possible for everyone. And also it may not be needed for everyone. But if you cannot create your own path, then you might have to take a detour. You might have to come back all the way from where you started and go again through some other means. This is what the 8th house does. But if you create your own path, then you can go through that lane itself, which means you have to think of innovative ideas by which you can actually still walk in that path, but with some difficulty, with some challenges, okay? Because it might be possible that you can still go through your plans, but it is highly probable that the plans will not be fulfilled. Uh, the, the plans won't be executed as you expected. So therefore, please take some delta time with you. Delta time means some extra time. So if you thought you will go and finish this project, everybody in corporate, if you have deadlines, projects planned up, deployments planned up or whatever, some review delay. There could be delays. Okay, so you need to understand because there will be some other requirement which will come up, which you might not have expected. So therefore, if you have this conjunction in transit, then it is very important that you do proper risk analysis. Even with the investing world, with the financing world, finance world, it is happening. Like recently, you might have seen uh, all the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin has had crossed all time high of $69,000. And then it crashed. And then now it's again come on somewhere, you know, it's trying to come up maybe. But there is this Bitcoin halving event, which is coming up right in the next 40, 45 days. And everybody in the investing sphere, sphere is predicting that cryptos will be extremely volatile during this period. You already have volatile predictions by crypto experts. <clears throat> Even the Indian stock market, it is like, you know, last one, two months, it's going up, down. Of course, in the long run, it will go up anyways. But you can already foresee Okay, uh, there are a lot of things uh, like in India, especially uh, there is this, uh, the farmer protests are going on. Um, then there is this, uh, <clears throat> today I saw the news that the chief election commissioner resigned. Um, and then, you know, there is this election commission will declare the dates. Okay, uh, I don't know if they're still declared. I, I think not. So who will be in which party who which candidate will get ticket from congress which will which candidate from bjp will get ticket <clears throat> you know, how will the nda function how will the upa function you know how will uh, not upa sorry the indi uh, alliance you know so it's very volatile so it means the risk is very high so if you if you have any risk related activity which is planned during that period so for example you want to inv invest some money in crypto okay you want to do some uh, investing or trading during that time well then you have to understand that it is not maybe a good idea to put everything in your uh, risk basket okay unless you are like 1000 million percent sure about it. if you are then well great go ahead if not then uh, thoda bachke you have to see, go, see, go like that, okay? Otherwise, you may lose everything, okay? Now, of course, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice to put or not put your money somewhere, but maintain caution. If you want to book a ticket to go to somewhere and you have to visit a particular place and there are uh, train connections which you have, you which you need to book, but they are back to back, and they have very less gaps or you have flights which have very less gaps then you need to make sure that you uh, don't book them like that okay so keep some gaps otherwise it could happen that you just miss something and then there is no refund later on because it was your fault okay 
but what is important for you is to understand that uh, this is a combination which gives you success actually <clears throat> because this is the conjunction of the first 10th and 11th but with the 8th house okay that's the problem so if you think that there is no success then you are mistaken this is misleading okay but the success will not come very easily and also it could happen if you have employees specifically or your junior subordinates or your children you might have a tendency to shout on them or you, know, you might behave in a bit violent way which is not good at this moment because saturn represents subordinates and mars represents violence okay so please understand that everything will happen in due course of time when the time is right okay if the time is not right you can do whatever you wish but it will not work so therefore you have to understand what this conjunction is trying to teach you this conjunction is trying to teach you that get rid of your ego get plan but don't be obsessed with your plans because you forget one thing you forget your karma so when mars saturn comes together it's like the karmic alignment of uh, people the negative karma prom prominently comes together so one shows disappointment and one shows uh, aggression anxiety right so if both are together imagine what happens so when both are together you need to understand that how much ever i may fight or i may shout or i may try to do things if it's not happening then maybe i should let it happen in its own due course of time and not pretend that i am god or somebody who can change everything so during this time uh, doing some meditation some spiritual practices uh, if you feel it's very difficult then this is very essential uh, also try to have a regular schedule try to not you know procrastinate uh, postpone things then uh, you could end up in prob more problems later on so therefore this is a conjunction which will give you abundant success but with some uh, with some shocks so if there is any person who are you are counting on and you are running rahu dasha or ketu dasha then what happens is you may end up in trouble and <clears throat> you may not be able to uh, get help from that person now i'm not saying that you will be cheated certainly but there could be a situation where you you might have to make other arrangements so do not be dependent on one thing one person one organization one entity you know so try to diversify your interests and risks and <clears throat> your uh, commitments and your desires okay because if you do this then you will have some substitute and you will be able to uh, go through the way still okay but again no matter how much ever you try irrespective of your chart you will feel some pain and that's okay there, there is pain in the material world but if you the beauty of knowing astrology is you can prepare before itself so now that you are seeing this video or you might have seen it till the end <laughs> which i hope so so then now you know that oh yes i need to prepare and plan accordingly so that i can uh, not I, I i don't fail in my life in my uh, life endeavors okay so therefore go ahead uh, persevere uh, have persistence patience tolerance because there is success but hmm, after some tussle all right and don't curse yourself don't curse people around you it's somehow your own karma my karma everybody's karma which will come up uh, and we have to face it and there is no there is no substitute for facing karma right thank you so much for your patience uh, please let me know down in the comments uh, what engagements do you have and then come back after 17 18 20th or maybe first week of april and comment below how is it going what did you think and how did it turn up at the end that is what i am interested to see and learn from you all of you okay thank you so much and if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope please go to my website down in the description section 
God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you're new, then please uh, subscribe to the channel and also hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is having anxiety. Okay. Thank you so much.